Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to look at some of the preference in Revit. Well, this is the last video of this section. After this, we're going to start working on a project and we're going to look at the architectural commands and all of these wall, door, windows and so on. Now in this video we look at some of the important preferences that I want you to know in Revit. For that, we're going to click on a Revit menu and then we are going to click on options and you get this dialog box. So let's look at all of these options here. In general, the first is a notification. Well, if you have an Autodesk Civ 60 account and you're working on a team project, well, this is going to give you notifications that if anything changes in your drawing. Next, we have the username. Right now, it's you can see it's my name, Awais Mirza. This is basically taking from my Windows login. So this is the name I have, Awais Mirza. That's what it's taking it from. The next, we can sign into AutoCAD 360 account. I assume that you have Autodesk 360 account, so you can sign in from here. Next, we have this work sharing update and frequencies. So this is just like, you know, how frequent you want it to update your work sharing. So if you work on a team project, you change anything in your Revit project and how frequently you want it to update. Next, we have a view option. By default, it is on coordinates. But let's say you're working on an architectural or structural drawing, then you can change the view discipline to architectural, structure, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and coordinates. By default, it is set to coordinates. I want to change this to architectural because we will be working on architectural drawing throughout this course. Now let's look at the next preference, a user interface. Now you see these tabs on the ribbon, architectural, structure, system, insert. All of these tabs are available here. And let's say you don't want to work with the structure, then you can uncheck that. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click OK and it will go away whenever you start your prying. And it actually disappeared right now. I'm going to click on Revit menu, go back to options and I'm going to go to user interface and we're going to check it back on. We're not going to be using structure like we will be using some of the stuff from structure tab, but it's a good idea to keep everything on. You can customize it from here. Next, we have active team. So we have two teams, dark and light. I like the light team, but if you want to change this to dark, you can do that as well. This is going to be a dark team, but I'll leave that as light. In the previous videos, we looked at the keyboard shortcut. We can customize keyboard shortcut from here as well. Let's click on customize. You get the same dialog box where you can customize your keyboard shortcuts. We have a double click options. I'm going to click on customize and here, we have some of the double click options. We have some objects and families where we can double click and which will take us to the family editing mode. You can modify that as well. We'll come back in the later videos and I will show you how to customize this because right now uh, we haven't talked about families and sketched elements and groups and stuff like that. I'm going to click OK. Tooltip. You remember when the last few videos we looked at the tooltip as well. So right now it is set to normal. So what it does, it basically when you hover over your cursor on a particular command, it will pop out a minimum tooltip and then some of the commands will run a video as well. You can set that to high, normal or minimum or you can turn off tooltip completely by clicking on none. I'm going to leave that as normal. The next options we're going to look at is in graphics. So right now on my computer, Revit is basically confused about my graphics card because uh, it actually says that the installed video graphics card has not been tested with Revit. Well, you might don't see these options. Your graphics card might be compatible with Revit, but mine it does not. So you can simply turn off use hardware acceleration. I still keep it on, but if it gives you any errors, then you can come back here and then turn it off. I will leave it on. Next, we have some colors options. The background color by default is white, which is what we want. White is nice. Selection color, you know, when you take your cursor on a particular wall or any other object, it highlights that. So this is the color it's taking from. Pre-selection is blue and selection is blue as well. Alert is orange. You can customize that as well. Now, once you select any wall or any other object, you will get the dimension for that. 
By default, it is set to 8. You can customize that as well if you have a high res monitor. I will change that to 10. Background transparent, we can change that to opaque, but we leave it transparent. File locations. File locations are, you see these templates here, construction template, architectural template, structure, mechanical. So this is what it's taking from. It's got the path for those templates and you can remove or add more templates. So I'm gonna click on this plus sign and I'm going to navigate where I have a Revit installed, C drive, and I'm gonna go to program data. And then here I must see Autodesk where is Autodesk here and I have a Revit installed so we have AutoCAD where is Revit here's where we have a Revit 2017 this is RVT 2017 and here we have family templates or templates I'm gonna go to templates we're gonna go to US Imperial and I wanna just add this commercial template to the project browser so we can just select the commercial template from directly from there so once I select that I'm going to click OK and you will see we have another template and we can start the project by clicking on commercial template default let's go back to Revit preference by clicking on option go back to file location so now we know that how we can add these templates we have some default path as well so if you save your file it will open a dialog box where you can save the file this is where it's going to save the users device and documents well default for, for the family template this is a default you can customize them as well now these are the most important options that i want you to know but you could look at other options as well rendering we have some ip address so we'll talk about this we need them in the course spelling check options string wheel you know when you navigate around into your 3d view these are the few options available here we have the view cube options so by default it shows all 3d views or you can just say active view only i'm going to make it all 3d views all right so these were the few options that i want you to know and in the next video in the next section we're going to actually start working on an actual project and i'll see you guys there cheers